Okay, welcome back. In today's episode, I got two more original Game Boy games, and they don't work, so let's take a look at them. So here's the first game up. The Game Boy logo, the Nintendo logo both show up, the game fades, and then locks up. So I'm going to open this up and see what I can find. So upon first inspection the board seems to be okay, there's no rust, there's no corrosion. So I'm just going to add some no clean flux and I'm going to reflow both of these pit, these chips. Now here's a really tight shot so you can really see how I reflow these, these pins here. It's not the most difficult task in the world. I want just everybody that's watching this video to understand that this is a process that anybody can do. Just slowly take your time. This isn't difficult at all. And you can get a lot of games to run simply by reflowing these pins. Now there's one more chip on the board. I'm not sure exactly what that one is. Um, it might be a mapper chip but I'm not 100% on that. And I'll reflow that if I don't get anything out of this reflow in the, these two chips. Now here I'm gonna use a hot air station, not to heat up the board to remove anything, just enough to dry off the alcohol. And just like that, the game fires up. So it just goes to show, oftentimes these games, all they need to do, all, all you need to do is reflow the chips. Now the reason why these uh, PCB joints tend to crack or tend to fail these games is because the chip legs, they're soldered to the board, and the board tends to flex every time you insert the game and remove the game. So eventually, after a while, the joints will get cold and eventually crack. So just a simple reflow will cause them to regain con continuity and as you can see the game fires up every single time. So now I'm gonna see if the battery is good. If the battery is good I can close this game up and it'll be done. So I'm looking for 3 volts here and in this case I get 3.2 volts so this battery is more than good. So let me close this up and get on to the next game. So here's game number two. Now keep in mind some of these games do have price stickers on them and th these price stickers aren't my prices. These are just the, the lot came I guess from a vendor. So this one I don't think had a sticker but the previous game did. And this game is simply have the same fault as the last game so I get the white screen it fades and nothing so I'm gonna I'm not gonna waste any time I'm just gonna reflow these two main chips and hopefully that solves the issue okay before I reflow these these pins here I'm gonna add some liquid no clean flux so here's a really close, a nice tight shot so you can see what's going on. I'm just going parallel, dragging across all these pins, making sure that the solder gets liquid, and then as it cools, it'll harden to a, a brand new joint. Now here, it may seem like I'm making this look easier than it is. In reality, it's not that difficult. The flux does most of the work. I advocate very strongly to lay down some flux and the joints become shiny, um, you don't get any bridges, and even if you do get a bridge or two, add some more flux, heat up the leg, and you get a brand new joint every single time. So
so when i'm doing work like this usually i like to fast forward in the video just to not get this just to not leave any boring um parts to the video and just to not have a stupid long video so in, in this situation this video is only about 10 minutes or 11 minutes or so and let me know if you want me to show you this in real time or if you would prefer me to fast forward through this but um i just did this once just so you can really see what i'm doing and you can get a a, a real time estimate on how long this should really take And once again, the game fired right up. So that's four cartridges already um, for the original Game Boy that all I had to do was reflow chips. So somebody in a, pre in a previous episode did comment that this is common in these, in these games. And I'm starting to notice that these games truly are common, these faults. So if you get a, a cartridge that doesn't work, please, please just try your best to fix it. I, I'm, I guarantee you nine out of ten times, all it needs is a reflow. So here I'm going to test to see if this battery is okay. And as you can see, this one's truly dead. So I'm going to remove this battery, put in a new one, and close out this video. Now swapping a battery isn't the most challenging thing, but perhaps somebody out there does want to know how it's done or just see it done. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the end of this video, a little more content for you guys on this video. So here's something that might be interesting. I'm going to replace this battery with a CR2032. The original battery is a CR1616. Now, they're both 3 volts, so this is okay to do. The only difference is the new battery will last uh, much longer. So here's the right, on the right side of this battery on the screen, there's the positive terminal. And on the left side is the negative terminal. So in this battery, the, the top pin, the top of the battery, is the positive, And on the bottom is the negative. So I'm just going to adjust these pins here just to clip them a little bit just so they can fit on these pads. Now since this battery is a bit thicker, that means it's going to sit taller on the PCB, you want to make sure that it's as flush to the board as possible. You can't have it up a millimeter or even half a millimeter. It has to be pinned to the board as close as possible just so the top sleeve of the cartridge can slip over the bot with the width in conjunction to the bottom half of the cartridge. Or else if this if this is sticking up half a centimeter, half a millimeter rather, it's not going to it's not going to close.
So I'm gonna fire it up, see if the game still loads. As you can see, it's still working. And I'm gonna start a new game here. Now I don't know if this is gonna save or not. Not because the battery's good or bad. I just don't know how to save this game. So hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then I'll have to figure it out off camera. If there's an issue, I would have stated in this video. So if you guys like this video, please comment down below, leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and once again, thank you for watching.